arming the engine on. Hey, welcome back to my channel, my uh, Tyrannus, well actually my Free Sky X like has arrived. And I'm a big fan of the Tyrannus, uh, going back to 2014 I bought the original Tyrannus. And then I was given the Horus, the X12S. Uh, I love my uh, Tyrannus a whole lot, that I actually didn't upgrade it for 4 years. I just had the origin from where I finally did upgrade it earlier this year and this is the uh, X-Lite let's take a look at it I've uh, done several videos on my playlist you can see that the tutorials on the Tyrannus and the APM going back the last 4 years and um, I've done a few more recently for the horrors and this is the X Lite. Very nice. The X Lite uh, is uh, slightly bigger than a PlayStation uh, remote, and I'll call this a gamer's radio transmitter. It's a uh, uh, nice size for uh, short flights. Uh, racing drones I guess because the range is I believe just over 500 meters unless you change it to 900 megahertz uh, I'm sure it can go a bit further uh, if you fly higher up but uh, it's um, definitely built for a, a racer and a short range flying uh, just flying around circuits I think it's a good good uh, uh, rate mode to use uh, the horrors, this big one here, it's just a little bit too heavy, so um, I haven't used it a whole lot. So I still go back to the Tyrannis with the upgraded version of the firmware. Um, so the X Lite has a really tiny switches, a little bit smaller than I'm used to, especially this lower one. Um, so the stock switches are really tiny. Um, and this dial is right on the top um, two of them uh, the grip is comfortable and I understand why uh, people were saying that uh, the battery is the uh, 18500 size and I could see why they chose this because it's a lot smaller than a 18650 which is common for LED flashlights so this is the 18500 now let me give you a comparison of the size so you could see the 18500 is definitely a lot shorter than the uh, the commonly used uh, 18650 EBR is the few companies that makes it and it's easily uh, available at uh, Amazon or eBay uh, EBR I've uh, actually worked with them for quite a bit um, doing battery testing and uh, they make all kinds of batteries so they are not new they, they've been around for a while they are really popular in Amazon itself they sell a lot of batteries to compete with the uh, Amazon rechargeable batteries so EBL are uh, very reasonably priced, uh, check them out, they are the only one that I know of that is uh, at least within my budget, so size different, a whole lot different. So batteries are not included, so to add a battery you need to twist the base there. So you see it's negative, so batteries are kind of tricky 
for these flat batteries. So the positive is there. Stick it right in. And then twist it back. If you put it on the wrong side, it's just not going to power on. So another one. Need two batteries. Do the same for the other side. And this side fits right here. Twist it back in. Power on. Hold down four seconds, four dots. Release. Open TX. Got a throttle warning. It's spring loaded. So it's definitely for a drone. Switch. Check. Fail safe. Hasn't been set. Click any key to continue. There you go. Model 01. Like all free sky radio transmitters, they uh, come with a nice case. The X light comes in like a gamer's case, really tiny. For the box and uh, holds this video transmitter. And you can see the Tyrannis and the Horus. It's got this uh, metal aluminum case. Um, comes with uh, some decals. If you are into decals, there's a bunch of them for free sky. And then a uh, short and sweet instruction menu, uh, typical free sky menu. Uh, I don't think it's always that accurate, at least for the receivers, but um, uh, it's included here for the radio transmitter. And there's some accessories here which I haven't figured out what it is. Um, I'll check that out later on. The Free Sky X Lite caught me by surprise, uh, being it spring loaded. None of my airplanes or racing drones, quadcopters, are spring loaded except for the toy ones. Um, and they don't really use Free Sky, those ready to fly uh, mini drones. And um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to convert it, uh, remove the spring. But I believe Free Sky makes it easy. There's a hole here. Where you could just adjust it and release the spring. There's a smaller screw that's already, I believe, inserted, so uh, it's already in there. So there is a long screw that is included, and you specifically will adjust it. So I'm gonna sh try it and show you how it's being done. And you're gonna need a hex key, a really tiny one. So stick this in there and uh, how this hex will do too so let's stick it in and see if I can get it in so still has a tension there you go oh so it's very easy just screw it in and now I have uh, the uh, non spring loaded. So once it's loosened, you flip over and on the right knob here is the dampening, which gives you the sense of the control. So I might tighten it just a little until you're liking. Just a little more. So this short screw used to be uh, given separately, but it's just to avoid the confusion. Free Sky has installed them, uh, pre installed them so that you don't get them mixed up. So I think I've got it now. Oh, there you go. Nice, perfect, smooth, uh, not too loose uh, and not too tight. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. So, oh. so there's no need to open up the uh, case itself. Um, what you do is adjust. And you're just gonna leave that long screw in there. So that's the um, mode two. The throttle is no more spring loaded. Genius.